Welcome to the module describing the GigaSecure Security Delivery Platform. A kill chain represents a model used to describe the stages of an attack and which helps to identify where to act to prevent such attacks. The original kill chain models have been criticized as being too intrusion centric in nature as they failed to take into account attack vectors such as social engineering and insider attacks. Since professional attackers follow a general process to compromise a network, defenders can utilize a knowledge and understanding of that same process to detect and potentially stop attacks. The United States Department of Defense Information Operations Doctrine lists six generalized actions that can be taken to break a kill chain. The first such action is where good visibility plays a critical part. The attack must be detected. The next four actions are facilitated by features available from a visibility infrastructure. The last action is outside the scope of what Gigamon products are designed to help with. This table represents some of the ways and means in which a variety of tools and procedures to work toward breaking a kill chain. The table text is color-coded to reflect approaches related to data in motion, data in use, and data at rest. Orange text represents actions and tools for data in motion, areas where Gigamon can provide assistance. Blue text represents actions and tools for data in use. And green text represents operational actions, such as user education. Aligning a security delivery platform with a kill chain to present the strongest defense against attacks is accomplished as follows. First, match actions with the kill chain as they relate to data in motion. Detection is largely performed by out-of-band reporting tools. Inline tools are able to make immediate decisions to allow or deny, redirect or modify packets in order to be effective in the categories of deny, disrupt, degrade, and deceive. The category of destroy relates to some sort of response or retaliation against the attacker, which is outside of the scope of the enhanced visibility benefits provided by a security delivery platform. For out-of-band detection and reporting, copies of passing packets are provided to tools so that each tool receives traffic for which it is optimized to provide inspection services. Selected packets can be sent for NetFlow generation and metadata, allowing tools to screen larger segments of the network efficiently or to augment deep packet inspection. Encrypted packets, including command and control traffic, can be decrypted using SSL decryption features. Decrypted packets can be further evaluated for specific characteristics in the traffic stream and for entire flows that relate to those characteristics. The resulting traffic stream is presented to various security tools. Decrypted packets can be sent directly to security tools without further filtering. Unencrypted packets can be sent for further filtering or any packets can be sent directly to security tools as a raw traffic stream. For the categories of deny, disrupt, degrade, and deceive, security tools need to intercept packets before delivery so they go through inline bypass. Any packet passing through inline bypass can also be copied and sent to out-of-band reporting and detection tools. As with out-of-band, some traffic is encrypted and can first be decrypted. Decrypted packets can be filtered for delivery to the right security tools. The raw traffic can also be directed to the right security tools. And any traffic permitted through the various security tools can also be directed to out-of-band tools for further detection and reporting by a broader suite of security tools, instead of depending exclusively on the inline tools that must make nearly instant forwarding decisions. After inline tools have approved packets, those packets are allowed to continue to the original destination.